Hello everyone, it is Shipwreck Samantha here and this welcome to my series on how to use Procreate. We are on lesson seven and I'm gonna be going through all of the settings options for your canvas today. The settings is just this little wrench right here and it will show you all the settings you have for your canvas. So to start, we, we're gonna go to the first option which is import and here you can import images. You can import an image by going right here and you can do it from iCloud, iTunes, or Photos. You can go to all your albums that way and import a photo. So let's just say I wanted to import this thumbnail for our YouTube video I have. And this, is, this becomes a separate layer, just like everything else that I've shown in past episodes. The next, the other options is you can take a photo straight from your device or you can paste from the clipboard. The next option is you're gonna click Canvas. And this is a few different things you can do with the canvas. So I've shown you how to flip a layer horizontally or vertically, but here you can flip the entire canvas by clicking these options here. Instead of flipping one layer, this flips everything. And then there's copy canvas to clipboard. Another option I really like is instant replay. So instead of exporting the video you've done, you can just click the instant replay button and it will show you everything you've done over this on this canvas and then the next option is you can turn on and off the video recording and then the canvas metadata it tells you the size of the image the recorded video size and it gives you all the information on here and it also tells you um, your track time how much time you spent on it you can the next option is you click share and you can share your artwork this is how you export your videos or your photos, and you can do it as a Procreate file, a PSD, a JPEG, or a PNG. Um, if you're going to export as a PNG and you don't want to show the layers below, you can just remove the layers like I've showed before, like removing the background. And then you can also export the video by selecting right here, the video you just saw a second ago. The next one is devices. So if you have a specific stylus, this is where you're going to be putting that in. So. Procreate is compatible with the Adoint Jot, the Pencil by 53, the Pogo Connect, and the Wacom Intuos Creative Stylus. So you're gonna select this if you're using one of those styluses and the app will know how to react to that. There's also preferences, so you can play around with these a lot. I won't go into this too much, but kind of play around with the preferences for the canvas. And there's also a help button if you have questions. So that is everything for the settings on your canvas. Thank you so much for watching this series. If you watched it all the way through, be sure to comment down below if you've watched every single episode of the series. If you want to know more about this app, feel free to comment and tell me what else you want to know about it. Um, I'd be happy to help and answer questions that you may have because like I said, I've been using this app for a while and it's taking a long time of experimenting and playing around with it to learn more about the app. So feel free to comment questions. Also comment any things that you've learned from the app that I may have not mentioned. Also, if you aren't already and you'd like to be, be sure to join my pirate crew by hitting subscribe down below. I have a new video every single Friday on this channel, so be sure to stick around for that. That's all I have for you today and I will see you guys next Friday.